so excited. I am so sorry for my absence. I had to figure a few things out because that first video was rough. It just, yeah, but I'm back and I'm giving you this summer monochromatic look. This orangey red, just call it sunset. The sunset look. Stay tuned, get ready with me, etc. Okay, let's do this. First things first, I have my cup of tea. Yes. Priming with Monistat Chafing Relief Gel. Found this out on Pinterest. It really works. <laughs> so. As you guys know, I have oily skin. So I do everything I can to combat that. So I'm going in with my Ben Nye Topaz Powder and my It Cosmetics Kabuki Brush. And I'm just going to put that on my face. What foundation am I using today? Lancome. This is Lancome Tint Ideal Ultra Wear. Sure, 24 hour coverage in 465 suede C. Take a little bit of that on my hand and we're going to put that all over my face. Beauty Bender. I need to wet this. I'll be right back. <laughs> wet these up. Beautiful, wonderful, great. Iman Stick Foundation in Clay 3. So that's that. Then I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier powder in medium deep. And this little sponge from Ulta. And I'm going to set that. The key to this summer look is layers. That's the key to all of my looks because I don't like to look like an oil slick. My Real Techniques powder brush. I'm going to just wet the rest. The Anastasia Beverly Hills um, concealer in five. Using this to highlight under my eyes and I mentioned this before I think I was using this concealer incorrectly it's a cream concealer and I have oily skin so obviously that's not going to work so I need to put less of it and do more layers 
if I really want it to stick. Take this much, can you see that? This much on your finger. For us oily people, I'm gonna do this. And then I try to stay away from my nose because it always gets, it's the first thing to go. Like literally just a touch. And now I'm going to take that same finger and blend all of that out. Beauty Blender. That looks like I'm glowing from within. So now I'm going to go in again with the Laura Mercier powder, but this time I'm going to do a lighter application. <clears throat> powder brush again. back into the cream concealer. That's blended officially, okay? So now I can put down my Laura Mercier powder. I'm going to get my Sasha Buttercup powder. And we're going to use that to bake. All right, so we're gonna leave that on for a while. I'm going to go do something else for about 20 minutes. Mm Ain't nobody tell me nothing. Okay, I think we're good. Long enough. Back in with Real Techniques powder brush. Wonderful. Yay. Okay, to set the rest of my face, Ben Nye Sienna powder. This, I believe, is what really puts the whole look together. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, your skin looks amazing. It's this.
everywhere. Okay, next, it's time to bronze. I'm using the Guerlain, is it Guerlain or Guerlain? Terracotta bronzer in seven. And like I said, I'm using this as an actual bronzer, not a, not a contour. It's pretty rare when you find a real bronzer for dark skin. And then this is the Real Techniques bronzer brush. Ew. I'm going to use a little compact I've been using this whole time. This is the Anastasia Powder Bronzer in Mahogany. And I'm going to use my Sephora Airbrush Pro Mini 56.5. Sure, this tiny brush. It was $14 because it was on sale. So I said, yep, sounds like me. How's that looking? Okay. So I look a little warmer. This is true. Now I'm using the same brush. I'm going to go in with Black Up, the um, Sublime Bronzer Powder in four. This is a shimmery bronzer. Like I said, whenever I find bronzers for black skin, I freak out because they basically don't exist. It's either it's the color of an eyeliner or it's not a bronzer. Like it's a bronzer for someone of a lighter skin tone. So yeah, to have multiple, I'm very happy about that. Um, so this is a shimmer bronzer. So I'm going to use it like to warm up my cheeks like so, right? So I'm just going to, ew, ah, yes. And I'm going to go over my nose. This looks like I've been in the sun. You'll see it as I build it, but that is literally adding color to my face. The Guerlain Guerlain will add more of a clay color. This is like that you've been in the sun. Like black up, thank you so much for everything you do. Blush. I'm going to do black up again. You know, black up has the cheek game on lock. It really does. When it comes to their blushes, um, this used to say black up on top, but you know, this is uh, their blush in number six. It literally looks like an orange starburst in here, but when you put it on, oh, Jesus Christ. Then I'm taking my Real Techniques stippling brush. It's time for highlight. Becca highlighter in Topaz. Oh my gosh, I have a text. <laughs> Popular. Just kidding, someone texted me. Um, fan brush, Sonia Kashuk from Target, dual fan brush. Mm, where's the light hitting? Here. And then I'll put that right there.
And then I take my finger and I'm going to build up the highlighter here. So it's such a little button nose. And then we'll put some here. We'll have to come back and redo that later. Okay. That's face. I'm going to go do my eyebrows off camera. So like everyone else on YouTube does, I'm going to snap my fingers. Oh my gosh, magic. I used uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Brow Wiz in Ebony. And then I set my eyebrows with aloe vera gel, just like that. Okay, now we are on to my favorite. Oh, I forgot. For summer, I don't really do much with my eyes. They're already small. I'm not trying to pay, play at my eyes. So I'm going to use this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. That's it. And I don't like to do a bunch of eye makeup during the summer because I'm probably going to have on sunglasses. And that's a waste. I want to show you guys something that you're going to see, which is my lips. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I'm into that. It's my favorite part. It's time for the lips. <laughs> so let's wipe this off. Because there's always foundation on there. I don't know how that manages to happen. But there is I foundation on my lips. And then I'm just going to put more of my Burt's Bees lip balm on. This is the ultra conditioning one. Feels like butter. Perfect. We are going to start with NYX lip liner in cream. All right, Let's sharpen that up with some Sharpener I got at Sally's for like a dollar. And we are just going to line the outside of the lip. Oh, but first let's pat this down. I don't want to take all of it off. Just I'm gonna go like that. Can you see? Oh my God. Now we'll go in with Mac Cherry, which is the red. This is like a very bright bluish red. Sharpen that. So Mac Cherry. And I'm going to fill it in. Now I'm going to go in with NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Orange County and I'm going to fill in the middle. And you might ask, why did you put on all those lip colors, put on a lighter one? Because it's easier to go from darker to lighter with my lips because I can see where I need to. Because sometimes when you put on these lip colors, you're like, oh no, 
Take it off. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to go in with the last color, which is um, the MAC lip liner in sh mahogany, in mahogany, right? Let's sharpen that. And re-outline the lip. This is a brown, so it's really going to contour. It's contour time. And I have to do this lightly because it's so easy to go overboard. Let's first blend that. All that for a little lipstick. But this is why my shit doesn't budge. Yeah, Russian Red. MAC Russian Red. This is literally my favorite part. Like, I can't. Put that on the outside like so. And then I'm going to use Lady Danger, which is this orange. It's like this, but it looks like a really bright red on me, which is what I'm trying to match this to. Yes. And that's why I had to put Russian red on the outside because I will look insane if I don't. Does that match? I think I did it take my lip brush. It's a Sonia Kashuk lip brush. And I'm just going to go in and fine tune. Lips are done. We have um, the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And that is it. That is the end of this monochromatic I wasn't initially going to do this orangey red, but I guess it is. So that will last forever. That is the end of this here tutorial. Let my hair down. One more thing before I go. I love when I find companies and people and causes that line up with my own morals and beliefs. And I am now an affiliate for JD Bath Co, which is headed by Jasmine Duke. And she has this bath company that is a love letter to women. Her stuff is really bomb AF. I was using this Tranquil Me oil that is also from her. And I'm telling you, this got me through so many anxiety attacks in the past month. This bath bomb, it's called After Moon. Use it after your period. So happy I get to be affiliated with her company because these are amazing. More about that later. There's a code where you can save money. You're welcome. <laughs>